Hello, so uh, basically I'm not going to bore you, I'm going to get straight onto it. My name's Stevio, just call me whatever you want. Steve, Stevio, Stevio, Bulbasaur, don't bother me. Uh, here we go. So basically I'm going to be showing you how to turn this into this. Right, okay, so um, show from Sony Vegas, just have it like this. Um, well, maybe not like this, however you have it. First of all, we're going to want to import our media. So, what we're going to do is I'm just going to find an image which I can use. First of all, we'll just import it, put it in. There you go, that's what it looks like. Alright. Alright, now go to video effects, go down to magic bullet looks, put it on. Sorry about the fact that's cut out there. Um, right, so um, let's just make sure it's at the start so that the keyframe will, I'm sorry, so it's uh, basically at the start of the image it's uh, going to set the colour. Right, okay. So, again, sorry about that. Right, so let's start off. First of all, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add a contrast. Um, I mean, you can just cheat and go over here and just get like some sort of, you know, look that you want. Um, but I mean, we don't want to do that. So we want to make our own. So tools, and we're going to want a contrast. So just drag the contrast onto the subject. Then I want to put this one at. Zero. This one at 180 and that one left at zero. That's all we need to do for that. And what we're going to do then is we're going to add a lift gamma gain. Okay, again, just drag it on. We're going to want that one at 2.20. That one's going to stay the same. That one we're going to keep at 100%. That's absolutely fine. Zero, that's absolutely fine. We'll change this one to 0 0.993. Doesn't look like much of a change, but honestly, at the end of this, you'll see that it doesn't actually make a big difference. Uh, change this one here to 0 0.937. Okay, so that's that done for the lift. Uh, it looks a bit stupid at the moment. As I say, it'll all come together at the end. Okay, we're going to want this one at 0. Point, uh, let me remember it, 828, I think it is. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, this one at 0 0.933. This one 1.239. So you see, it looks stupid, but now we're back to uh, you know, a great kind of colour. It looks pretty shiny, it looks pretty smooth, and all good. Right then, so next of all, we're going to add a, what's called a diffusion. So just click away from that. Diffusion is under um, mm, map. There we are. Diffusion. Just double click it and add it on. Uh, right, okay. Want this at ten percent. Otherwise, that's going to be extreme. Uh, that can stay at three. Hundred percent. That one can go to hundred percent. That can go zero zero uh, one one one. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Uh, looks ideal too shabby. Okay, next we're going to want to add a gradient on the mat. So let's add the gradient, let's double click it. Uh, again, looks a bit stupid, trust me on this one, it will look good in the end. to the same sort of colours we had before, just a bit brighter, a bit more in your face. Um, it's also a little bit smooth if you uh, can't make that out already. Right then, let's go on. So I want to go back to that and we want to add and scroll down. This one here, full blue CT 
CTR, CTB, sorry, CTB. Uh, right, I'm going to leave this one at plus 1.5. We'll change this one to, in fact, no, actually, no, we'll leave that one. In fact, we're, we'll leave it all. It, yeah. That one. Yeah, I mean, just fiddle around with this one actually, to be honest with you. I mean, if you're a kind of person who's going to want a green, uh, green kind of, I don't know, shade to your image, then fine, go for a green, you want an orange, fine. But I, I always prefer the blue because it, that way you can see the, the sky coming in, it's, it's got a blue kind of shine to it. Makes the image look a lot better, to be honest with you. Okay, next we're going to add a lens and we're going to want to add a VR. Uh, to be honest, I can't even say that. Just add that. <laughs> Zero percent, zero percent on that at one point two five five. Want that at one. Want this one at zero. That one at one hundred percent. And the exposure we're going to want at minus one point oh oh. So again, just makes the image a bit sharper. Cuts it a bit more. Look, looks alright to be honest with you, I can't complain, I, I like the look of it. Right, nearly there, nearly there. So, don't be afraid. Next we're going to want to add oh, a camera, and we're going to want to add, uh, what the hell was it? Uh, this one here, full neg bleach. Alright. We're going to keep that at 100%, we're going to keep that at 1%. Uh, yeah, it does actually make quite a big difference, you know what I mean, it gives it a, a little bit of a negative look, uh, takes the colour away, if, if you're one who wants the colour in, keep the colour in, uh, but as I say, I like the look of that, to be honest with you, it gives it that kind of grayscale look, but without having to add too, too many things. And lastly, but not least, we're going to tools again, we're going to post, and if I'm going to find it again, we're going to add the curves, and we're going to want plus. Contrast, shadow, we're going to keep that same. Midtones, keep that same. Highlights, keep that same. And gamma space, keep that same. Uh, for me, that's all okay. I'm liking the look of that. So, um, what we can do is just click OK. That'll then add that on. As you can see, that looks a lot better in the image. And what we do is we just render that. And we'll see how it goes. Good luck. Well, I hope I've managed to help you out. Uh, thank you for watching my tutorial. Uh, subscribe, like, comment for more. I mean, if you want to just leave a comment with something you want done, then just by all means leave me a comment. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can help you out at all. Alright, thank you. Bye.